Hi guys, today I'm going to run through a push-pull circuit with you and again, I'm using my friends the trusty water bottles. Now again, if you want to use bricks, if you want to use stones, please do, but be careful. Dumbbells, if you have dumbbells, use those instead. If you have bands, use bands. In fact, if you have bands or dumbbells, get hold of us and we can give you workout ideas. Right, just like before any workout, make sure you are fully warmed up before taking in any exercise. Now that could be five minute steps, just on your stairs. That could be some nice easy jumping jacks or just marching on the spot. Just make sure it's for about five minutes. Make sure that blood is flowing. Make sure the heart is pumping and we're all in a good place to be sitting. And tricking it. Too many words. Right, anyway, so first of all, we're gonna do some deadlifts. So, chest up, shoulders back, head up. Let's go. 12. I'm doing this in real time with you. 11, so we can all do it at the same time. 10. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, the sun has come out, four, three, two, one, good. Now we are going to take it forwards, keep your back straight, so don't bend at the top, don't bend at the shoulders, keep your back straight, we're going to do some rows, and with your shoulders, I see this a lot, people dropping the shoulder coming up, go. Keep your shoulder fixed in that position. Let your lats do all the work. Let's go. 12, 11, 10, really squeeze, nine. Keep that back straight, eight, seven. Don't let the shoulder drop, six, five, four, Three, two, one, good. Give our back a little bit of a break because we're going back into that position for some rear flies. So all we're going to do with these rear delt flies, sorry, is we're going to go in that position again, out to the side and back down. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, slow and control, don't push it. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Very good, that's our three back exercises done. Now three checks. So first of all, we're gonna take it to the ground. So all I want you to do is water bottle, chest press. So down, onto the ground, arms in a right angle position, we're going to come up and back down. 11, 10, 9, squeeze the chest at the top, 8, drive the bicep across the body, 7, 6, 5, Four, nice and controlled, slow on the way down. Three, two, one. Hold them at the top, turn them to the side. We're going to go into chest flies. Feel the stretch and back up. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And our last chest exercise is going to be press ups. But well, let's make sure we get these right. So when we do press ups, if our arms are here like in the old style, that is just asking for loads of trouble on your shoulders, yeah? So, we don't want your arms there in front and coming down like this, that's bad. We don't want your arms wide. And as my good friend Siobhan pointed out, we don't need them going like this. That's not a press up, yeah? We need to be getting our chest low. We need to be feeling the stretch on the pec 
and coming back up. So your hands, ideally, if you want to work a little bit more on triceps, we'll bring them in a little bit more, but we're going to work on chest. So, a little bit wider, but not too wide. Elbows, keep them in and by your side. So when we do a chest press, so you press up, we're going to go down, feel the stretch, back up. Down, feel the stretch, back up. We can do them that way, or we can do half press ups, again, knees back, hands in that position, we're going to go down, feel the stretch, drive back up, yep, right, let's get ready for the 12 reps, 3, 2, 1, 12, at this tempo, 11, 10, 9, oh we can feel that, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, good. Like I say, you can do them full, you can do them half, you can do half and half, whichever is easy to pull. Pay attention to what I was saying about the hands and the speed. We can't create the same stimulus without heavy weight. So right now, we are relying on time under tension, which are controlled reps. So, the last two of this round, arms. It's Friday, it's actually Friday, it's Wednesday. It might be a different day when we post this, but right now it's Friday for me, so we'll get some arms done. So again, get the water bottles. Elbows in my side, we're gonna curl them up. With these ones, again, don't let your elbows leave your body. See lots of people curling like this, so we'll come up now. If your elbows leave your side, that's not biceps, that's shoulders. So, elbows in, chest up, shoulders back. Three, two, one, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five. And before anyone says anything, three. My arms don't go in any further than that. Two. I'll be carrying carpets around all day. One. Good. And finally, we're getting the bottle. We're going up in the air, behind your head. Twelve. Overhead tricep pushes. Twelve. Eleven. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Very good. Right, guys. So that, we've done three back. We have done three chest. We have done two arms. Do them all as one circuit, one after the other, exactly as I've just done, no rest in between. Once all have been completed, rest for one minute, then go again. Once they've been completed again, rest for another minute, go again. So we're gonna do it three times in total. If you want, rewind the video, then we can do it in real time all again. And as of the other workouts, if you wanna combine that with let's say abs or I wouldn't say legs because doing upper and lower might be a little bit too much, but something like abs, uh, something like a hip session, or a little bit of cardio will be absolutely perfect. Or it can be run by itself. We can do separate days, we can do legs days, we can do ab days, we can do anything we have all the time in the world currently. Right guys, I hope that's well for you. Any questions, fire away, go well.